الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والأسر إن الإنسان لفي قصر إلا الذين آمنوا وآمنوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر I swear by the declining day man is at a loss save those who have belief and the saleh actions actions that Allah loves and then invite people to haq invite people to reality invite people to truth and then counsel want to be steadfast rabbi israli sadri wa silli amri wa la uqdatu min lisani qawli just i would like to present some few points about islam muslims basically you have to find out first the crisis that we are talking about in this universe in this planet is only on human crisis and there is no crisis you can find in the animal kingdom or the plant kingdom or in the water kingdom anywhere you don't find crisis why there is only crisis among human beings not only the muslim ummah it is to whole of the mankind are in the crisis why this is the question first we have it is because god created man the best of the creation ashraf al makhlukat and we are above the animal above everything why because we are human beings human and a being a cat is not called a cat being a cow is not called a cow being why only we are called human beings this is what you have to sign out there are the human part and the being part two are integrated to us this is what you have to first talk the human is yes we are animal the body this mind is there as also there is a spirit of god inside us and that has been totally been cut off your hearts have become hardened like rock sumun bukman umyo it is totally been gone only we are talking about the human part we think consider as human why we are ashraful makhlukat because god has given the power of choice the choice is only on human being to choose choose what choose a way of life i have a choice to choose a way of life the way i want to live and allah also has given us a favor he has done a favor by giving a way of life for humanity so he is asking us human beings as muslims or anyone to invite people to haq the truth to reality this is where we have to distinguish a human being has got the power the ability to distinguish a human being is not a human being when he has no ability to distinguish between the truth and falsehood haq and batil if he cannot able to distinguish is not a human being the human being has got that power there are three faculties of in a human being that's why we are higher than every other species in this universe one is the animal we got the sense faculty action reaction faculty survival faculty and also we have the mind the logic the reason the rational faculty that is the human part the being part what is the faculty of the being part is allah says the qalb the intellect is the qalb intelligence is your iq high iq is the mind intellect is not this allah says the quran al aql is this ya aql man who is an intellect is one who can able to distinguish between the truth and falsehood haq and batil good and evil beneficial and harmful and if you are not able to distinguish you are finished that's what all the crisis all about you will become blind today this is the part we have to understand that this ability that we have to have is the realization faculty is of the heart realization cannot be done with this logic and reason so this thing haq and batil haq and batil if allah would have not chosen allah would have not done the favor by having a communication system through his revealed messengers and the book if allah would have never had a communication on on the on our own as human beings can human being put the best of the best of the scholar can you say this is haq can any human being say no is impossible allah has chosen the truth is haq only allah can say this is haq this is the truth and now you have to distinguish batil 
the falsehood. What is that human beings? A human being can never able to say this is the truth. He can only human beings or only can say this is an opinion. Judgments and interpretations and the basis of all our human qualities on the basis of assumption. So we have to distinguish the haq, the truth is only Allah can say this is the truth and all human put together only they can say it is an opinion. An opinion is not equal to the truth. It is a point of view. Today it has been imposing, people are imposing their view, their opinions, their judgments and their interpretation to be the truth and that's what causing all this problems in this world. And if you don't accept the opinion and judgments and the interpretation they are presenting, you are not supposed to live in this world, they will finish you off. They are eliminating you. And my opinion is the only right opinion. And that is the truth. If you accept, accept, otherwise finish. That's all. This is what it is all about. And today this war is all about opinions and judgment. And you have to find out that. This is what you have to be able to find out. Opinions. Now everyone is imposing their opinion on others. And that is what is causing the truth now. The father is imposing the opinion of the son. Father wants to invite the son to follow his way. The mother is inviting the son, the children to follow her way. And the children want to follow whose way? Their way. And what is happening in the homes today? You can know what is happening today. And the husband wants the wife to follow whose way? His way. And the wife wants to follow whose way? Her way. And if you don't follow, what happens to the marriage today? The divorces are happening in before the honeymoon. My way is the highway. The door is open. If you don't follow my way, the door is open there. You can walk out. So, what is going on today? Is this what you have to wait for to distinguish haq and batil? Using the faculty of this heart and this is what is being dead. And when this is dead, then we are lost completely and that's what the crisis is all about. Only with logic and reason. Using logic reasons, yes, logic, reason and the senses is the tool that God gave me to use it. This human is not me. Ask this question to yourself, am I the body or do I have the body? No, I have the body. Then who is that I? Then you ask yourself, am I the mind or do I have the mind? No, I'm not the mind, I have the mind. So that I have the mind, I have the body, that means I am someone. So this is where you have to distinguish, I have this body and mind, I have the faculty of reason and logic with me, I have the faculty of the senses, I have the faculty of the realization faculty, the qalb, the akhal, and what is the faculty of the akhal is the realization of the distinction, a distinction to distinguish between truth and falsehood, good and evil, and beneficial and harmful. And now, in anything that anybody presents to you, their opinion, their judgment, their interpretation, have this triple test. Is it what he's saying is the truth? Is it what he's saying is good? Is it what he's saying is beneficial? This is the truth you have to follow. If it is what he's saying is falsehood, is what he's saying is evil, is falsehood, just reject it. And this is what we have to apply our test to see and distinguish this one. And then we will be able to, Islam is a way of life, a divine way. Allah has given us a perspective to live life from his perspective. I have a choice to live from my perspective, opinion, judgment and live in this world. Or Allah perspective, divine perspective and live in this world. So I have a choice to choose and you and me have a choice. And what if we choose to live from Allah's perspective? Allah has given us a belief system. Having those belief system and living in this world, that is what is perspective of Akhirah. Or I, this society, right from the childhood, is giving me a belief system. My logic, reason, and education, my experience, and the parent, the society is giving belief system. I have that external belief system, and I live my whole life on that belief system. So I have this choice. You have to distinguish and separate out. And then when you invite people, Allah says, will haq, invite people to haq, invite people to truth. And this is what we have to be able to see, is what I am saying is the truth, is what I am saying is good, is what I am saying is beneficial. And not that saying my opinion, my opinion, when I am saying anybody's opinion, is it to the truth. If it is truth, that is the truth. This is what we have to be able to distinguish. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to just say a few thoughts. Thank you very much. <laughs>